hello everyone welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna show you guys how I make my ultimate favorite bacon cheeseburger sliders and if you guys never had this before stay tuned I'll show you guys how to make it and if you guys are new to my channel please consider subscribing and if you like this video please consider giving a big thumbs up so if you guys are ready let's get cooking I have 10 pieces of bacons here and then I'm just going to cut them into thirds so about two inches and then I'm just going to um, separate them and if you don't want to um, cut yours you can go ahead and just you know cook them whole too because at the end you are going to um, break them up anyways but um, since I cut mines already, I'm not going to uh, break mines up. I'm just going to leave them as is. And then here I have um, half of a large yellow onion. And then I'm just going to uh, chop it up. And as always, use your favorite onions. And you can always do um, a whole onion instead of half. In a large skillet over medium-high heat, I'm going to add in the bacon. And then I'm just going to cook it until it's crispy and it's nice and golden brown. Okay, now that the bacons are nice and crispy and golden brown, I'm going to remove them and place it onto a paper line plate with paper towels, of course. Okay. Over medium-high heat, um, I did remove all the bacon grease, but um, I saved two tablespoons, and I'm going to add in the beef. And then I'm just going to add in the onions. And then I'm just going to cook this until um, the meat is brown and the veggies is nice and softened. About 8 to 10 minutes. After the meat is nice and cooked, I'm going to add in some fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then some garlic powder and salt. along with some black pepper and then some Worcestershire sauce and then I'm just going to cook this for about two to three minutes or until the juice has run out and then you can go ahead and taste what seasoning but for me this is perfect Okay, make sure to preheat your oven to 350 degree and I already cut um, my dinner rolls lengthwise and then I'm just going to um, sprinkle on half of the shredded cheese and this would be four ounces just right on top. Okay. And then I'm going to add on my meat mixture. And then I'm just going to um, pat them down a little bit as I put some on top. Okay. And then I'm just going to slowly push them out toward the edge just to make it even. And then as you can see, they are falling down, but you can easily just pick them up and put them right on top. Okay, once the meat is nice and patted down, I'm just going to go in and just add in some um, mustard. You could add as much or as little as you want. And then I'm going to go in and add in the cooked bacon that we uh, made earlier. And just spread it all around the top. Okay, I'm just going to push it down a little bit 
Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the remaining of the cheese and just put it right on top. And I'm just going to spread them out just a tad bit. Okay, and then I'm going to grab the top layer and I'm just going to place it right on top. And then with some melted butter, I'm just going to spread it right on top. Okay. And then I'm going to um, sprinkle on my everything seasoning bagel. And if you don't have this, you can go ahead and just use um, white sesame or black sesame seeds. Okay. And then this is going to go into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it's nice and golden brown on top and the cheese is nice and melted. All right, once it comes out of the oven, gonna let it cool for about maybe five minutes. And then we're gonna slice right into it. Oh boy, don't this look delicious. Is the end results and the best part the taste test now let's dig right on in and see how it is you guys okay it looks amazingly delicious you guys okay let's go in okay here we go cheers mmm mm. Wow. that was amazingly delicious you got the cheesiness you got the saltiness you got the beefiness you got the everything seasoning bagels on top of that toasted bun you guys everything was perfect if you guys would like to give this recipe a try i do have the measurements in the description box down below don't forget to like share and subscribe bye